Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? All right, y'all. So we about to go ahead and get started on my Jazzy Life, her video, right? So let me go ahead and share my screen. And she titled her video, I Value It So Mush It that I wanted it and did anything for it. Single mom of five, right? So, you know what, as I was watching this and then um, it got to this part, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and just um, do a video of this because this girl getting on my nerves with what she's saying. All right, um, first and foremost, you know what, Jazz, um, we gonna need for you to write a book. Write a book just like Nika did so I could read it. And if you guys have not caught that um, reaction video that I did on Nika reading her book to you, to y'all, um, I did it yesterday's reaction video on Ika, so you can go ahead and check that out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My bad. All right, so let me go ahead and play it from right here. Sitting here just thinking uh, about life, you know, how things just happen in your life for whatever reason it is. And I've been doing better. I feel like I have to give you guys some kind of update. I've been doing better, y'all. Like, um, I do have moments that I do cry because I just think of, like, I think of a lot of things, y'all. My mind just be going. I just think of what I wanted to give to my son, Legendary, that I didn't really get to give to my older kid, my, you know, the older four, more so the twins. The, the older two kind of got a family dynamic, you know, in-house mom and dad situation um the twins really didn't get that um well they got it whenever i got caught up with chris but so i was kind of giving it to chris and legend i mean chris legendary and um the twins so i get sad thinking about that you know thinking about like i really wanted my kids to see that i wanted to see them being i wanted them to see their mother being loved cared for, treated like a queen and stuff like that. Well, uh, skirt. Hold on, wait a minute. Stop that real quick. What? <laughs> Let's run that back real quick. Let's run that all the way back. Mother being loved, cared for, treated like a queen and stuff like that. I huh? What? Jasmine, where? Where was this done? Um, or what? Is this... Is this what was going on in your head? Is this what you thought that um, was happening? You were being loved and treated like a queen. Um, I mean, like I'm like at this point, you know what? I, I keep on saying it, but she needs to go to the nearest um, um, psych ward and be ev evaluated quickly because there's something mentally going on. Jasmine, when were you ever treated like a queen? <laughs> no, really, when? the fuck i mean what like let, let's just run that back one more time because maybe i'm just hearing something maybe i'm not hearing it correctly to see that i wanted to see them being i wanted them to see their mother being loved cared for treated like a queen and stuff like that i i, I value two parent households I value that a lot. Yeah, to where you settled for him. He treated you like shit. Um, that your kids saw that, right? So I'm confused on what you thought that they did not see you being loved, treated like a queen, um, taken care of. They did not see none of that, Jasmine. They saw him being verbally abusive, probably seen him actually being physically abusive to you. And um, they saw you crying. They heard the arguments and stuff like that. I mean, like, girl, the fuck? Um, your kids will want to see you happy. That's more important than seeing you with a man. <laughs> the fuck? What? Like, I'm confused. Like, these women are just crazy. Like, they value, they put all their happiness in a and everything into a dude when and then always be thinking that oh yeah I just want a two-parent household because you know that I want my kids to grow up in a two-parent household for what for what for what so I could still constantly see you somewhere crying arguing too much noise throughout the night I mean what I'm pretty sure they're much happier now um I guarantee you Ada's probably doing well in school uh they're getting they're getting a good night's sleep 
I mean, come on. And when I sit back and look on my life and reflect on everything, I just be like, will I ever be there? Will I ever have, excuse me, y'all, the chance to have a two-parent household and stuff like that? Why would you want that, bitch? First and foremost, you know what, Jasmine? You get on my damn nerves because you know what? A two-parent household ain't all that, boo. The only thing that's good about a two-parent household is the two-parent income coming in. The two incomes. That's it. Or the two or more incomes coming in. Like, that's the only thing. I mean, what? I mean, yeah, you do got a whole bunch of two-parent households that, you know, they're doing great. Um, I grew up my whole entire life in a um, two-parent household with my parents. So, I mean, and they're mar- they've are they been married for a, a thousand years. And it was good. So, you have your good and your bad moments. Yeah, it was good and bad moments being in the household with them too. But um, it was still mostly good moments but um i don't know i don't like the way she is just like it's just like you know when a relationship becomes toxic it's time to let it go jazz and this is something that she does not understand because she's too invested in this two she got this mindset of a two-parent household in her head for some reason i don't know bitch your kids are young your kids are too young get the two-parent household crap out your mind. Get it out your head. It's it's not about, you don't need to be thinking about that because there's absolutely no way that, I mean, how many times have people got to say it? I mean, she act, she acts as if, you know, Chris left her and, you know, said that they're going to take a break or, um, or he just, he just needs some time for him to himself. No, he left you. He's with someone else. He's in a relationship with somebody else. What don't this girl understand? Why is she still talking about the same, the, the trying to feed the two parent girl? What, what don't you understand? He's not coming back to you. So get it out your head. You're not, no, we're not going to have you out here dating anybody, especially no time soon. You need to wait until your kids get older. And the next person that you date, don't move them into your fucking house. They need to make, they need to have their own shit together. For my kids. So I get kind of sad when I think about that. Um, they not sad. A lot of y'all. The kids ain't sad. The fuck? They happy. Um, Say different things in the comments like jazz. Um, you can- Honey's drops have been soothing throats for over seven. I, I just don't get her mindset sometimes. It's just crazy to me. I don't purposely just allow someone to break me. It's when I love, I love hard. And that's not even just that. I think, like I told y'all, I think about everything. I think about my kids having a two parent household, someone picking up the slack so that I lack. And- I need to understand. I need help with understanding. Is a two parent household more important than you being happy? Is is because I mean that's what you're telling us. <laughs> the fuck that what a two parent household is more important than um, you having respect for yourself? Because that's what I'm getting out of this. I mean, the fuck you rather be going through hell every day because you already told us that you were miserable, that you were. Um, that, that he was being verbally abusive to you, you know, he already told you a whole bunch of things about yourself. I mean, and I'm pretty sure he done told her way worse than she just not mentioning it to us. But, you know, the things that she already mentioned was pretty bad that he told her. And, you know, so you still will want to be in a two-parent household happening to go through all that. Oh, Lord Jesus. Whew. Cheryl. I'm going to need for you to go slap your daughter on my behalf again. I lack and vice versa when it comes to my kids. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's go back back real quick. My bad, y'all. Having a two-parent household, someone picking up the slack where I lack and vice versa when it comes to my kids. Okay. Picking up the slack where you, I mean, picking up the slack where you lack. Okay, so, but you have to pay him back though. So picking up the slack where you lack, but you also have to pay him back. All right. Okay. Um, I had a little bit of a two-parent household. 
when I was growing up. It was not long, but it was a tad bit of a time. And I just felt like my son deserved that. And, you know, the twins deserve it too. So Once again, they also deserve you to be happy, Jasmine. You cannot sacrifice your happiness just because just to say that you're in a relationship with a man who don't want to be with you. I mean, I'm confused. That don't mean, I mean, it's almost like she's telling us, okay, if I'm not going to be with him, I'm going to go out, go out here and find me a dude who's going to be in this house with me just so I, my kids can, you know, have the experience of having a two-parent household. Jasmine, stop it. They want to, they want the experience of having their mother there being happy. That's the experience that your kids want. They don't care about a man being in the house. They don't care about a two-parent household, girl. So, and not even just that, in general, all my kids deserve that. I just sit and I just think, you know, how things were, y'all. It ain't easy to just up and get over a person. I don't care how bad it was or how, I'm gonna say how bad it got, because not all days were bad. Those good days really can hit you, you know what I'm saying? And you what good days, Jasmine? I mean, damn, y'all haven't had a good day in a year. I mean, what are you talking about with good days? The fuck? What? What is she talking about? And then going to have the nerve to say, um, what was it that she said in the beginning? Let me run that back. It was something stupid. How things were, y'all. It ain't easy to just up and get over a person. I don't care how bad it was or how, I'm going to say how bad. Yeah, the up and get over a person. Like, what? I mean, what he did to you, Jasmine? What? Oh, no. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. That was, that was horrible. Like, you, you up and need and leave me. And you know I have to pay rent. You know I need the money for this, the rent. And you blocked me. You didn't want to give it to me. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Girl, he almost had you out here on these motherfucking streets. Well, actually, you know, she, she he would have had you over there shacking up with Cheryl. Oh, no. <laughs> and you said that you, what, you can't get over him? <sighs> that it got. Because not all days were bad. Those good days really can hit you. You know what I'm saying? And you start thinking about everything, thinking about, oh my God, like I miss that day. I miss doing, waking up and I have to do this and that, you know? And it's been a little hard, you know, balancing everything. I was dog crap tired yesterday, y'all. Dog crap tired, okay? Like I was asking myself, dang, Jazz, how did I do this? But then I started thinking, This became my number one best friend, but I didn't just have one cup. I sometimes had two, sometimes I had three. Um, and that would get me through the night and get me through the morning and midday. And I'm just thinking, and I'm thinking y'all, y'all are old, new. Back when I got my first apartment, um, I was on my grind, okay? Like, I think I posted the most then. Um, so I think about that and I'm just like, I was a hustler. <laughs> You know, I was doing everything. I was on top of every sponsorship I got. I was editing and filming and editing quick, y'all. So I kind of want to get back to that. I know y'all are going to like, Jasmine, you're smiling. I am smiling. I'm still hurt. <laughs> but um, I feel like each day that go by, y'all, I feel like the hurt just, it's picking away a little bit, a little bit. Um. And I'm going to get through it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I have no choice. I kind of have no choice but to, at the end of the day, I'm just going to keep doing what I have to do for the kids' sake and everything. Um, I have to channel that hurt. Um, keep myself busy. Cleaning. Right now, because I'm tight on money, so channeling to stuff around the house, cleaning. These are eating the
Here she goes. Now, right now, since I'm tight on money, the fuck people being, people still sending jazz cash apps. So don't nobody go and send her no motherfucking cash apps. Bitch, is this another begging moment? Because we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Hell no. We won't go. We ain't giving you no mo. No. What the fuck? For the cooking stuff, I want to start back bringing my cooking to my second channel. Um, you know, just getting more into doing stuff, you know what I'm saying? And also just posting more, get back into my cleaning videos, um, tax season around the corner. I know taxes always make person happy. <laughs> and then plus I'll be able to get my camera. That's like the thing that I, I'm going to just give to myself is my camera. I'm going to make sure I do what I need to do as far as my finances as well. Um, meaning like paying for what I need to pay for, getting that out the way and stuff like that. So yeah, y'all, um, I'm picking at it. I'm picking away at that sadness, you know, and trying to find the light channeling it y'all. I'm channeling it into something else. Um, soon I'll, it's kind of cold. I want it to work out, but it's cold as hell. So I'm not working out right now, but I'm a channel it, you know, and just get back to me. I'm right really, next. Uh, I just been trying to push through and just try and not stop because there are days that I just want to stop. I don't want to keep going. I just want to let go. I want to drink. And I'm not drinking, so I have to channel my everything into staying busy, focusing on the kids and things like that why she get her eyebrows like that like why is one all the way up here like you know like what the rock be doing with his eyebrows like I, 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 that's too distracting for me like that wow. yeah. like right um also um if y'all could just like comment and share my video um this is a new transition for me like a lot of y'all were saying, just go get a job. You guys, right now, it's just, it's kind of hard. I can't afford daycare right now. Here we go with the, I can't afford daycare. It's hard. It's, bitch, what? Then we, girl, you, um, hello. You have five kids. You, um, first, first, uh, hello. You, I mean, you know what, listen, she, she would qualify for child care because of her checks that she's been getting from YouTube has not been that much. Um, so you can use that as your income. And it also, um, I mean, yeah, she, they will pay for Legends Daycare. <laughs> the fuck? Go down there. We People been telling you, apply with welfare. You get food stamps from them. So, bitch, you can apply for child care for him. Find your dumb ass a damn part-time job if need be. And they will pay for him to stay in daycare part-time. Bitch, you can afford part-time to daycare even if they don't pay for it. You got it. But they will pay for it. Um, so I'm, I'm trying my hardest to do things. I put him on the wait list for daycare. But last time I tried to do twins, it was already too late. They was in school. And... Um, that's kind of what I'm I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to focus on. So what is that? The only fucking daycare? I'm confused. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, is is that the only daycare? I mean, a wait list. Come on. Working on my YouTube. Um, trying to right now. I'm showing y'all what I'm going through right now. Um, and. Get I it out. Brand, but I just feel like right now I can't rebrand because I got to get what I'm going through off my chest. Some days are good, some days are bad. And they really get to me sometimes. So just pray for me and um, come with me on this journey of healing. I'm not healed. I am in the process of it. It's complicated. Everything about this situation is complicated because I still love this person. And I know a lot of y'all hate that. Y'all hate that I love him, but I can't control how I feel. I still love him. I still care about him. And at the end of the day, 
I just don't know what else. Yeah, I mean, we can't help that you're still stupid. I mean, uh, yeah, because because you are. We, we can't help that you're still stupid. Dang. I mean, Jasmine, just tell him that you'll give him all your taxes without telling him that you're going to give him all your taxes. The fuck? <laughs> Damn. So, you know what? Jasmine did this damn video. And you know what? It's almost as if she did not um, re rewatch this. Like, I mean, girl, did you, I mean, didn't you edit this? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but this stuff was everywhere. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? What questions is he answering? Where's the question? So honestly, um, his dad is supposed to get his hair cut. Where was the question? Did I miss the question? Like, what? Where is the question at? All I hear, see, is ask me anything today. I'll answer it in an IG story. And then it says, ask me anything right here. Where is the question that she's answering? <laughs> like, where? What? His dad is supposed to get his hair cut. Um, if he does not, then I'm already in the works of getting his hair cut. He has very, very thick hair and it's hard to keep, you know, fresh or not getting tangled up. But twists are a good idea, but I think I'm gonna get his hair cut. So to answer this question right here, Where, what question? the answer is no. There are several reasons why. One, clear as day, he's in a happy, healthy relationship and I never, okay? Two, you never go back. Three, we have a really good co-parenting relationship, and I just want to keep it like that. So, yeah, that like I said, a hot ass mess. I'm not about to, you know, not, not about to keep continue watching this dumb shit. <laughs> I mean, like, did you, you, did you not watch the video before? I mean, you know, you uploaded it. I mean, girl, that do over. But anyway, so um. Listen, one of the vlogs that she put out recently was kind of, it was kind of good and she need to keep it up with that type of energy. I think it was this one, the single mom realistic maintenance routine for five. And then she also gave, um, we, we finally spotted Bentley. He's okay, guys. I get, he's still there. Uh, we don't know how, but he's still there. Um, so, you know, she finally, um, gave him a bath and other things like that. Did a girl's hair and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, yeah. So I thought this vlog was pretty good, but listen, these girls hair, Jasmine, I'm confused at why, why are the, why are you doing the girls hair so tight? I mean, it's already it's it's already bad enough that they inherited your forehead. But dang, girl, like they don't got no edges. They about to be completely bald in the front. Like, why is their hair so tight? Why are the ponytails so tight? Pull it out their hair. And she don't see this because look at her damn forehead. Look at her hair. The fuck she don't got none. Like the hair don't have to be that damn tight. See, I don't know if it's just the camera or whatnot, but it be seeming like these ladies don't, they they don't know that lotion exists. Like you can put lotion on your kids. They don't know that lotion exists. Okay, see, look at that. Her hair is entirely too tight. Let's see if we can go back. Look at that. I mean, Jasmine, you don't see this? Like, her, her hair about to be in the middle of her, her head. What is going on? Look at poor Ava. I don't understand. You don't see that the ponytails are too damn tight. Oh, my goodness, this girl. I, I just can't. Y'all, so, you know what? There we have it. Jasmine, she's she's trying to move on. You know, she still values that two-parent household. She she really wants her kids to have that two-parent household. So, she uh, once again, she's still holding out hope that Chris, after he done did, did her dirty, dragged her through the mud, dragged her behind his truck, 
I mean, Eden did her dirty, dirtest of the dirt. She's hoping that he will leave the girlfriend that he's with right now to come back to her or stay with the girlfriend and, you know, just have her as have jazz as the, the side chick. That's what she really wants. She just at least she just wants to, um, you know, him to, you know, say hi to her, give her a hug. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, since tax season is around, I'm pretty sure he's going to show up for that hug. I'm pretty sure he came through on. um um, the 21st YouTube paid me, well, actually the 22nd. So he was there this, this past Monday, you know, just to give her a hug, pick up legend, get some money. So yeah. But anyways, y'all until next time, go ahead and like this video, comment your thoughts down below and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.